Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Anawash and we are back with another initial review of another Boltony. But which one is it? Right? Um, if you guys know Boltony, they produce quite a lot of you know vintage style watches. But this time around, they decide they've decided to homage a certain Swiss made watch that you know when you mention feel watch, you're gonna know what it is. <laughs> you know if you wanna know which one? Let's cue the intro. Alright guys, so welcome back to my initial review of another Boltony. This time around, it is homaging a certain Hamilton khaki feel. Right, this is the Hamilton khaki feel automatic uh, available to you on you know, various um, you know internet, various uh, eBay's or what. If let's say you live in Malaysia, you can get this from Lazada or Shopee for uh, close to five hundred US dollars, which is a bit annoying because I've got this. Basically, my wife gave, gave it to me last year for about 400 us dollars which is you know i don't know why they you know they increase 100 us dollars more but then yeah still if you mention entry level swiss made field watch there's nothing that can beat this particular thing until boltony produced this one <laughs> all right so yeah let's just see what do we have here do, of course your usual uh, boltony box here so used to be called you know it came in this uh, fluffy fluffy thing all right so this is watch and what do we have inside so of course it came in this um, wrap in this uh, plastic thingy and boltony we gave us this uh, polishing cloth which i i never used and we've got ourselves a hmm, two years warranty which i have no idea where to where to find it if this thing ever broke uh, so user metal so and yep we have a spring bar spring bar spring bar tool remover which is good this is an excellent uh, tool by the way let's put it back there and i opted for this black uh dial version the, it also came with a sunburst blue dial but i think for me to you know compare these things you've got to go for the black one right okay so yeah check that out guys how the first thing when when i first uh, took the, took it out of the box there's immediately i can feel that this thing is a bit bigger compared to this or 38 mil hamilton but uh, when you look at it you, you immediately uh, see that this boltony is way way much much more legible compared to the original thing right because this thing sucks it doesn't have any air coating but this one has a loads of air coating and it makes reading this dial much 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 more easier compared to the og which is a shame shame on you hamilton shame on you hmm. put it like that <laughs> right, anyways let's just uh, <laughs> don't get too emotional there all right uh let's check the dimension 39 millimeters right that Hamilton is 38 mil. That is why it looks a bit bigger compared to the real thing. And the thickness is about 12.3. That is also almost similar to the real thing. So good job, Boltony, because you have managed to um, reduce the thickness of your watch here. And a lug to lug, I think, of about 46, I think. So, yep, 46.8. And the lug width is. 20 millimeters that's so that's good and i've got it i've got this version in, um, in this uh, nato strap you can also choose it on a leather strap but because i've already have um a a uh, leather a few leather straps so i've just go for the cheapest version available so on this one you've got 81 grams so very very lightweight and of course we have to check the sapphire sapphire crystal right let's just adjust this thing a bit okay you have oh you have sapphire crystal at the front but yeah it doesn't have any display <laughs> anyways let's just shut it off so that's good right uh, oh price i forgot to mention the price for eight and an inch 35 powered movement this boltony s202049 is priced at just 139 us dollars before the sale price so i've got it at around maybe 111 or 105 i just can't remember maybe 110 us dollars which for me is a great bargain in my opinion and if you guys don't want to spend 500 bucks on one of these damn this you, you can't skip this one guys it it looks absolutely 
like uh, cool in my opinion albeit there's a few difference that you can already know when you when I play around with this uh, with this particular uh, this uh, we comparing these two watches right so it is not an exact copy of this particular watch right first thing first let's check out the bezel this one has a fully brushed bezel whilst the um, Hamilton has a fully polished bezel so that's number one difference number one and of course the case design is uh, different so this one has a much much more you know curvy looking uh, case but this one is much much simpler or much more generic looking case here let's just zoom in a bit right you can see there right that it's not a, an exact copy of the Hemi um, what else the dial right although it has the exact same um, uh, type uh, font design here the dial itself it's it is supposed to have that um, that sector dial looking thing such as the Hemi but it it has but it's not really that prominent which is a shame because I would have thought that that Voltini can nail that particular design but yeah they don't they don't I don't know why it is, is it really that difficult I don't think so but yeah still that's what you get right um, uh, our markers are all printed in white uh, VG-99 Super Luminova and of course the the hour markings on the inner circles are also printed in VG-99 and the, another, another thing that is different compared to the OG is that check out that black date wheel versus the white date wheel on the OG watch right and yeah I <laughs> when I saw the pictures of this particular piece that is the first thing that I've that made me wanted to get this watch ASAP but of course I've waited for the sales to happen and yeah I think I think for 111 bucks this one is a very very nice um, feature co compared to the real thing anyways um, the crown this is another improvement over the original watch because this one has a screw down crown that one doesn't have any screw down crown whatsoever of course this is an NH35 movement you've got hand winding you've got hacking right so let's just um maybe we are in the in the danger zone nope not in the danger zone let's just uh, turn it back to 1010 and of course you can adjust the dates right uh, okay let's just adjust the date so let's just go for number three <laughs> number three um two three boom and you can screw it back in voila very nice and of course it doesn't have any markings whatsoever so you have you just have this um, circular uh, brushing here which is okay not that bad not, not that worse it just it's just a little bit too blunt but maybe the, if you do, do you really need a B here I don't think so Boltony here is, is good enough for me but yeah some people might prefer um, a sign uh, crown but yeah not for me anyways at the back we have a yeah, a sterile dial so there's nothing to see here hmm. yeah they maybe they could have engraved something here but to keep the cost down i can understand that so yeah maybe you guys can you know go ahead and engrave anything at the back maybe at the back maybe that is the reason why they do that but yeah still um on this version i've gone for this super duper soft um nylon uh, nylon NATO strap which is very very nice I thought that previously I thought that this is going to be a bit too rough but surprise surprise this is a very high quality uh, strap from uh, Boltini I've, maybe they should have gone they should have introduced um, more colors to the to the strap but yeah still let's put it on this and see how it looks like this 39 millimeters um, Boltini S202046 I think so yeah come on Boltini give us something much much easier to remember guys please right numbers are just you know it's very difficult to remember anyways so that is how it looks on my 6.75 or 17 centimeters wrist circumference so i think that looks good what do you guys think let's just zoom out yep that looks good of course if i'm to compare this with the real thing it feels a bit bigger but yeah i don't really mind it it, it looks uh, cool great in my opinion the only thing that lacks on this particular watch is of course the loom and we know that the loom on this particular Hamilton is pathetic to be completely honest with you but still let's just compare them because the loom on the Boltini I've reviewed quite a lot of Boltinis now and uh, now and I think for the money the loom is great but not on this particular watch 
which is a shame because I I wish that they've gone they've, they've put a lot more loom you know because they because they can <laughs> and they've done it many many times before but I, so I don't really know I don't really understand why they didn't uh, loom this particular belt bolt into the brim so are you guys ready three two one and boom we've got ourselves a c3 super loom maneuver on the left on the hemi and b g uh, c3 you know bgw9 budget bgw9 super loom maneuver on the bolt knee which you know this one definitely kills the competition which is the hamilton shame on you hamilton shame on you <laughs> sorry <laughs> I'm not bashing Hamilton. I just love this thing, but come on, give us something more, right? Oh, I completely forgot to, to talk about the hands. The hands is, um, although it mimics the Hemi, but um, we have this uh, sword looking thingy on the hands and uh, our hands and also the minute hands. And But check out the second hand, guys. The tip of the second hand is, second hand is similar to the Hamilton, but the counterbalance is we have this circle there versus the hemi it doesn't have any circle it just have this lollipop uh, at the as a counterbalance which for me although it's a bit just a bit different difference there but yeah it, it, it makes the watch a little bit special in my opinion anyways <laughs> that's my initial review of this particular ball to me um if you guys want to ask me anything about this particular watch please do let me know in the comment section below i will be uh we using this using this for about maybe around a month or so before i go i give it a full review Um yeah if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye